Hi there, welcome back to MTurk Guide. Quickly going to go through uh, 411 Richmond, which is the requester, and these are single value receipt transcription. I will put the Panda link in the uh, comment section or the description section. And these are ones that you, uh, sometimes during the day you need to Panda them to, to have them coming in steady. And other times you'll see there's a bunch out um, and they have a whole bunch of different hits. This is the, this is the one um, that I feel is quick and it's, it's easy and it's good filler. So if you are new, and you're looking for ones to do, these are these are safe ones. That's a good requester and the task is very simple. Um, there's not a lot of risk here. Uh, if you're a kind of mid-level, kind of know some stuff, but not others, but you know, have your favorite requesters, I, I would suggest that you look into this as a good filler. The, the tasks themselves are super quick and yep, they're only a penny, you know, but they're they're good to fill your time if you happen to be online and want to spend some time, um, you know, doing some hits. And they're a good numbers builder. Um, you know, if you do twenty of these a day, you know, you're adding at least a hundred each week to your total. And of course, you know, as I've discussed in other webcasts, aside from um, keeping your approval rating high and things like that, you know, gaining numbers is important because when you get to a thousand and then 5,000 and 10,000 new stuff will open up to you. Requesters, you know, some questers, requesters are looking for people who have done over 10,000 hits. Um, you know, some are looking for people who have done even more than that. I, I've seen some, you know, requesters looking for 50,000 or over hits. So, you know, having, more hits completed under your belt with a high approval rating is your ideal situation. You know, I'm in a position right now where I've made, I've done, uh, let's take a peek while we're all here. I've done 52,365 submitted, 5, 52,273 have been approved, 11 have been rejected, and 81 are, um, are pending. And that's about a a year's worth of work for me, um, a little less than that actually. Uh, the majority of this work has been done in the time frame from about October the last year to, to present. So um, I, I will say that don't let the um, what my dashboard looks like throw you off yours. If you're not using scripts, yours will look different. Um, but check out the webcasts that are either posted or coming about using scripts and how to change your dashboard so that it looks more like mine, if that's what uh, you're into, if it helps your view, but just wanted to go back and let you know where I am with my numbers. Um, so you know that I, I am telling you this because I've been there and that I know that this is, um, this is uh, what, you, uh, what you need to be striving for. Not what I have, but in general, just the higher numbers with the higher approval rating is really where you wanna be because that's when the good stuff will start opening up and the higher paying hits. So what I have here is a handful of these that have come into my queue. This again, tends to be a requester that drops all day long. So if you set up the Panda through Torque Master or Panda Crazy um, and you're letting them funnel in, you know, there'll always be, you know, a little bit of work there for you. So I turn this Panda on, it's 11, 15 at night right now. Um, I turn this Panda on at about 11 and about, I, I, I paused it probably about three minutes ago. So, you know, maybe one a minute came in, which considering I was working on other things that were better paying, you know, it, it works. So, uh, first, if you're in your queue, which is the hits assigned to you part, you click on that. And I'm re-clicking on it because, yep, okay, just wanna make sure I'm in there correctly. So I'm re-clicking on that. And then you go to continue to work on this hit. And I'm slowing down because I'm webcasting. Okay. So I'm still slow. Okay, here we go. So the first time you have this hit, I would look at uh, the various instructions, but I can summarize it for you on here. You're looking for the total on the receipt. So here you scroll down 
and be cognizant that people cut these or they um, paste multiple pictures together. So I'm looking for the total on the receipt here and I can see that if I hover over it, it, it highlights it, but I can see even without the hover that it's a total of $72. So I put 72.00 in and if the total is missing, I just hit that box, but it's not here and I submit and I move on to the next one. So usually when I'm not in a webcast, which slows things down a little bit, um, and I'm only putting in, you know, a couple of keystrokes per, I can get through these in, you know, less than 10 seconds each. Um, this is, you know, fairly slow going for me, but, you know, again, I'm trying to make sure that you see what's going on here and, uh, and, uh, in that you're understanding how I'm working through these, sorry. Okay, so in this particular receipt, I'm looking for the store name. So the top of it's cut off, but I'm gonna assume that this Min Yards is also the name. So in the store name, I'm gonna go ahead and try to type in Min Yards and I don't see it anywhere. So I'm gonna put other and you could either do um, other or store not visible on the receipt. I'm going to do other because I'm pretty sure that it's Minyard. This is the actual name of the store. So I'm going to submit that one. Moving right along. Uh, okay, here's a, another type. This one is date. So I'm looking for the date um, that this was. And I can see at the top here, it's from 9 6 16. And that is date is not one of the above. So I'm gonna put 9616, scroll down and submit. So you can see these are really simple. You're just taking a very simple piece of data and you're inputting it. You're gonna find a lot of receipt transcription out there as a lot of apps have gotten really popular with the savings crowds. So, um, you know, these aren't huge money makers. You're not gonna make millions of dollars doing receipt, receipt transcription, but they're a good numbers builder. Um, and they're pretty much, you know, guaranteed to be hanging around at any, any given time. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they approve quickly, which is another piece that you have to consider because um, you, once you submit something like this, you really want it to um, be reflected in your approval reading pretty quickly. All right, this is Jean Coteau. So, and because I've done these so many times, I know that this one's in the list, I submit. All right, and I think I'm, I think I have, uh, I should have maybe four left to go through. Now, because I'm working out of my queue or my hits assigned to you, it just keeps rolling to the next one in terms of time remaining. So, um, so yeah, so that that's why I'm just letting it give me the next one. If you were working in your Google requesters, which is like Will or Zoltar, which there are other videos about. You got to be careful about which one you're doing. You got to be doing it in a specific order. Um, but these ones, you don't have to be as worried about this. So as you see, 6-13-2016, this is a pretty old one. So the date is not one on the receipt. We're going to go back to June. And it was 6, what did I say? 6-13-2016. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just reporting the data. Sometimes that pop-up does come up. Um, you can opt to not have it continually show up. It's not telling you you did anything wrong. It just it pops up for certain hits uh, with this particular requester. Um, so either I would advise that you just get rid of the dialog box and have it so it doesn't come back. All right, because I shop uh, compulsively at Walmart, I know that the date is at the bottom here. So we're at 9-8. 16. So if it's on here, there it is, 9816. I'm going to quickly submit this one. Again, just to show you, prevent this page from creating additional dialogues. You can go ahead and click that and then it won't show up. And it, I would suggest it because you can accidentally hit outside this box and change your answer. And if you're, if you don't catch it, you could hit okay quickly and then accidentally put the wrong answer in. Um, so it's better to get rid of that dialog box, but, um, especially for this particular requester, because it's not, it doesn't really add value, especially if you're being careful the first time. Um, you know, I always suggest you 
double check your work, but things like this are, you know, they're pretty easy. Um, if you can't, you know, read, you know, a couple of numbers and put it in, you know, for whatever reason, if that's a limitation, then this is not the type of work I would suggest um, that you do. So this one's an interesting one. It's a little faded. Um, so looking at the phone number, um, I'm going to go with 814-874-2973. So it says no exclude spaces and symbols. So 814, I have an awful memory. So 814-874-2973, I think. But I'm going to go back and check to be 2973-874-814. There we go. And there you go. So I think there might be one more left might not be but um, hopefully that just gives you a good idea of working you know through a queue um, with a, one particular requester sometimes you have multiple requesters in here in a particular queue right now I have the same requester which is different it's a single value but um, each one has been a little bit different in terms of the, the values that they're asking for so you just got to be in tune to that um, you know when you're looking for um, totals like this one, you want to make sure that you don't, you don't put in a subtotal or um, a change. In this case, it's 3357. Um, on the grocery store ones, you need to be cognizant that sometimes there's a food stamp um, uh, total, and then there's like a total total. You want your total total. You don't want the food stamp total. So just all things to be aware of. Um, when you first start doing these, just go slow, make sure you're reading it, understanding it. And within a very short amount of time, it'll just become second nature and you'll just be running through it like nobody's business. So again, I'll put the panda in the uh, remarks here, the description for you to add uh, to your tools that you're using to collect hits. And again, you know, I suggest you use these as filler or to build up your numbers uh, while you're trying to get to a milestone of 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, whatever it may be. So as usual, please comment, like, subscribe, tell me what's working, tell me what's not, tell me where you are and what you need. Hopefully I can help you out. Thanks.